Sharpless had hurriedly told us of the child, and of course Benjamin and I were at once resolved to ensure the boy's future and take him back to the States and bring him up as our own. Climbing the hillside, my heart went out to butterfly, and I know that Benjamin's silence spoke volumes as to his regret and shame. We arrived and Suzuki told us that exhausted from her night's vigil, Butterfly and her little boy were sleeping. Benjamin immediately said not to wake her, relieved that he would not have to break the marriage of our marriage to her in person. He said no more, but left in deep distress. I stepped outside with Suzuki, doing my best to assure her that the boy would be loved. Her eyes spoke of the suffering that she and Butterfly had endured, though her words were polite and servile. She told me of the daily wait, the endless hope. Suddenly, I saw the fragile figure of Butterfly appear within the house, and our eyes met. A few brief words were spoken, and she disappeared. 